Hi everyone, uh, today I'm just running some tests on um, the human robo interaction project that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. It's essentially around building uh, seamless communication, almost like natural human like conversation type uh, communication with uh, robots. So um, let's just run some demos. I'll try to ask some questions and you'll get to see what kind of progress we've got so far. And then um, I'll talk about the um, details, the implementation details behind these things. Let me just turn on the uh, recognition. Good morning. Hey, how can I help you today? Uh, what is today's date? Today is 2020, What day is it today? Today is Monday. How old are you? Uh, let's try some language model tests, okay? What is 5 plus 5? I'm processing your question and will provide an answer shortly. The sum of 5 and 5 is 10. If I'm building a game, suggest a programming language. Let me think. There are many programming languages that can be used for game development. Some popular options. Okay, there are two rooms. Key is room is in room number two. I want the key. Which room do I go to? I need the moment to gather my thoughts on that topic. Based on the information provided, it is not clear which room you should go to in order to find the key. It seems that the key is available, but it is not clear which room it belongs to. It would be helpful to obtain The key is in room two. I want the key. Which room do I go to? You are not the first person to ask this question. Based on the information provided, you should go to room two in order to find the key. Can you run some system diagnostics, please? Thank you for the help. I'll see you later. I'll just turn off the um, speech recognition module. So essentially, the way this thing works is it's, um, well, its brain slash AI is isolated from the hardware side. So its brain actually lives inside the computer. And the steps are, effectively, the user's speech gets processed speech recognition, and we convert that to text. Um, if you think like in Java, for example, that's basically a string. That piece of text then gets processed through a bunch of um, natural language processing models, um, text kind of um, text processing uh, parsers. You've got 
Java, you got Python, you got Kotlin, so a bunch of languages using their own processing tools to get through the text that's been um, said by the user. Then we look for various predefined responses. So for example, system diagnostics, that's a predefined response. It doesn't need to go uh, consult a language model for that if it can recognize that response. And so it will run through its uh, functions. It will check if there is a such uh, if there is a function that exists inside its API, so it will actually then run the function uh, on this hardware on the ro uh, this robot hardware, uh, which will obviously return some values like the version of the kernel, uh, the version of the text to speech module, and so on. And these will then be populated into um, text grammar generation module, something like uh, you may have seen uh, Grammy that uh, the Grammy project that I've been working on, which is um, text grammar generation tool. And then it will just go through its text-to-speech module uh, to actually say, which means it, the, the string, if you will, uh, gets translated into the um, uh, speech, which comes up the, the robot speakers. And then after that, should we fail to identify any predefined responses, that goes through a language model. Currently, um, it's either the DaVinci model or the ChatGPT model um, produced by OpenAI, which is why it takes a bit of time to actually process these things. But, but potentially, we can run something similar, maybe not to that scale, um, but it would be uh, interesting to see if we can run something similar locally, just to speed up the uh, communication. And then finally, anything that comes out of the models as a response, we then effectively feed through its own system. So as if it produced the response rather than uh, as an external response. There's a lot of interesting kind of closed feedback loop type stuff that's happening. I might do a separate video that kind of covers all of that in more detail. But very briefly, it's take the speech in do some processing with it, um, or on it, I suppose. And then if we can't identify what to do right now, then uh, push it through a language model, and then that figures out what needs to be done. And then finally, if it comes out of um, the model as a response, like we need to do something, we need to run a function, then that function goes back to the robot, and it, it is the robot that will execute that function on the hardware. So effectively, this creates this almost like seamless uh, human robot interaction, if you will. And that is effectively it. There are a bunch of other things that we'll um, see that can kind of try and apply, like gesture recognition as well. So it's not just kind of standing still. Currently, I've disabled all his uh, motions because uh, the motions do not match the things he's saying. Um, he, it, uh, and then we'll see if that could make this uh, a more seamless interaction. But for now, this is very early days. And there'll be more um, research that's, uh, that will be done on this side of things. OK, on that note, uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.